<laughs> yes, sir, back there. So, could you comment a bit on uh, how you select the entertainment that you want to bring on? Because you've got a really excellent history of introducing us to acts that we've never heard of before, uh, and then we kind of just glom on to them. <laughs> there, there is <laughs> everyone hear that question. Us all the way to, uh, to the uh, Sarah Watkins. Yeah. Right. Was that, was the, the question is about uh, to, to talk a bit towards our process of selecting entertainment. There is a very complicated algorithm that Drew has been working on for the past three years. Uh, basically, we enter the entire internet into a computer. <laughs> we combine it with our survey results from the past three Joko Cruz crazies, and it spits out a list of 14 names. This year, the first name on the list was actually Count Basie. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we need to adjust we the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, we had Leonardo da Vinci second. We couldn't get him. Yeah. Let's tweak it. He's very busy. Uh, the um, it, it's a it is it is a complicated process, but it's not an algorithm. You know, we we have uh, we always try to provide a balance of stuff because uh, you know I, I think there's a there's a we want we want stuff that's stuff that's familiar and uh, something that rings that uh, that nerd bell, uh, but we also want stuff that is new that we think is good because that's I mean that what you just described that sort of discovery process for everyone is one of my one of my favorite things is uh, uh, the curation that we get to do to, to bring uh, acts to this group of people who uh, you might not have heard of before uh, who we, we know you're gonna love um, uh, and it's funny, it's funny that uh, you know I talk, I talk sometimes about how the how the the universe of, of nerd culture is is sort of a weird ghetto, a large, larger and larger ghetto to be sure. <laughs> but uh, you know, there there are performers who are outside of this universe who know nothing of it. And uh, when we bring them here frequently, uh, you know, as they're before they come on the cruise and as they're starting to figure out what oh my god, what am I going to play? <laughs> they say, and especially after they've seen a couple of acts on board, they're like. Um, Songs about robots. <laughs> I don't actually do funny songs. I just do songs that are, you know are sad and pretty. And like, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Actually, we like that too. You know? uh, and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a really cool thing. So you know, we, we try to find this, this balance of, of uh, uh, different kinds of acts uh, in terms of you know, music and comedy and other uh, and also. Uh, stuff that's stuff that's new and good, and stuff that's old and familiar and good. And, uh, I don't know. I, I, th this year, uh, this, I'm really happy with the list this year. I think it's and, uh, pretty great. Uh, can I go ahead and answer the follow-up question, uh, which I think would be asked? Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot talk about specific performers, but we uh, it's, it is also very difficult to not difficult, but not all people who are are very successful artists of one sort or another have the time to take a whole week off. So there are a lot of people we have asked that would love to do it, um, but for time reasons cannot. Um, and that it's a, a really complicated soup. Yeah, especially to commit to commit to a week away from your regular job in advance. You know, a year in advance. <laughs> Basically, it's hard. Uh, and uh, it's also pilot season in LA, which makes it difficult to get anybody out of Los Angeles. Pilot season is the time when you're an actor or a comedian, you're supposed to just sit by the phone and wait for your agent to call you and tell you that there's a, an exciting new job for you. Well, we do take super seriously and have priority when we fill out the survey and you say who you want to be on the ship. Um, the top people that stand out every year, we absolutely do contact them, so know that.